In the final weeks leading up to the death of her beloved husband, Phil Donahue, Marlo Thomas took a poignant journey down memory lane, embracing the love and memories they had shared over their 44 years of marriage. The iconic That Girl actress, now 86, was by the side of the talk show legend, who passed away at 88 after a prolonged illness. As if sensing the inevitable, Thomas flooded her Instagram page with heartwarming photos and profound quotes, offering a tender glimpse into their enduring love story. On July 25, she posted a nostalgic snapshot of herself tightly embracing Donahue at sunset, a photo taken more than a decade ago during a cherished summer on their boat, the Muggsy. Here's a sweet hashtag throwback. Phil and me aboard the Muggsy, summer of 2009. It's hard to believe this was 15 years ago. It feels like yesterday. Thomas captioned the photo, her words echoing the timeless nature of their bond. Even after all these years, she shared, they still delighted in watching the sun dip below the horizon together, whether on land or water. As the days grew shorter, Thomas's posts became more reflective. On August 7, she shared a quote from best-selling author Rachel Macy Stafford. Let love start this day. Let love end this day. Let love transform the minutes in between. It was a simple yet profound message, encapsulating the way she and Donahue have lived their lives, anchored in love, from the first light of day to its last. Less than a week before Donahue's passing, Thomas shared another poignant quote, this time from Tennessee Williams. We live in a perpetually burning building, and what we must say from it, all the time is love. Her choice of words seemed to reflect the urgency and fragility of the moments they were sharing, as that she was gathering up every last bit of love to hold on to in the days ahead. After Donahue's passing on a Sunday night, Thomas confirmed the heartbreaking news in a deeply emotional Instagram post. She referred to Donahue as her sweetheart and announced her decision to take a break from social media to grieve. I'm sure by now you've heard the very sad news that I lost my sweetheart last night, she wrote, expressing her gratitude for the outpouring of love and support. She also reflected on the shared journey they had experienced with their followers, acknowledging the joy it brought to Donahue, a man who had dedicated his career to connecting with his audience. Marlo Thomas's farewell to her husband was not just a goodbye, but a reminder to cherish those closest to us just as she had been blessed to do with her beloved Philip. In her closing words, she wished her followers good health and happy days in the company of family and friends, a testament to the enduring legacy of love that she and Phil Donahue had built together. Phil Donahue's career was legendary, marked by his groundbreaking talk show, The Phil Donahue Show, which ran for 29 years and featured some of the most prominent figures of the time. His interviews with the likes of Nelson Mandela, Muhammad Ali, and countless others set the standard for meaningful television discourse. His accolades included 20 Emmy Awards, and he was twice honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Presidents Joe Biden and Barack Obama. But beyond the accolades and the history-making moments, Donahue's true legacy lies in the love he left behind, his wife, his five children, his grandchildren, and even his faithful golden retriever, Charlie. In a final act of generosity, the family requested that donations be made to Street Jew Children's Research Hospital or the Phil Donahue slash Notre Dame Scholarship Fund, ensuring that the spirit of giving that defined Donahue's life would continue on. Marlo Thomas reminisced about the good old days and focused on love in the weeks leading up to her husband, Phil Donahue's death. Did that girl actress, 86, was married to the talk show legend for 44 years before he passed away on Sunday night following a long illness at 88. But weeks before his death, Thomas shared a loving throwback photo with Donahue and several meaningful quotes on her Instagram page, seemingly knowing the end could be near. On July 25, the star shared a sunset shot of her squeezing her husband tight. The photo was taken over a decade ago but she told her followers that they love watching the sun go down together all these years later. Here's a sweet hashtag throwback. Phil and me aboard the Muggsy, summer of 2009. It's hard to believe this was 15 years ago. It feels like yesterday. 
We still love to watch the sunset, whether on land or water. She captioned the smiling picture, which would be her last Instagram post with her husband before his death. On August 7, Thomas shared a quote by best-selling author Rachel Macy Stafford. Let love start this day. Let love end this day. Let love transform the minutes in between, it read. The actress used the hashtag quote of the day and included a photo of two people hugging. Less than a week before Donahue's passing, his wife, who played Jennifer Aniston's TV mom in Friends, posted another meaningful quote from Tennessee Williams. We live in a perpetually burning building, and what we must say from it, all the time is love, Thomas wrote, again using the quote of the day hashtag. Thomas confirmed her husband's death in an emotional Instagram post on Monday, calling him her sweetheart and revealing she was taking a much-needed social media hiatus to grieve. I'm sure by now you've heard the very sad news that I lost my sweetheart last night. So I know you understand that I'll be stepping away from this page for a while to take care of myself and the many people who took care of Phil and held him close to their hearts, she wrote. But I didn't want to disappear without saying thank you for the beautiful messages of love and support that have been coming in all day and for the wonderful and generous way that you've let Phil and me share our life adventure with you over the years. As a man who spent his career loving his audiences, Phil got such a kick out of our cozy little community here, and I know he would be very touched by the heartwarming thoughts and memories you've been sharing, Thomas continued. She signed off by wishing all of her followers good health and happy days in the company of family and friends, adding, I hope that you will continue to hold close those you cherish most, just as I was blessed to do with my beloved Philip. Donahue's namesake show, The Phil Donahue Show, aired for 29 years before ending in September 1996 and included high-profile guests like Muhammad Ali, Whoopi Goldberg, Billy Crystal, Steve Martin, and Jamie Lee Curtis. He won 20 Emmy Awards, including 10 for Outstanding Host and 10 for the show itself. Donahue made history by becoming the first person to interview Nelson Mandela after the South African president's 1990 release from prison and the first American talk show host to tape from the Soviet Union. On May 3, just months before his death, President Joe Biden awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom at the White House. In 2014, Barack Obama also presented him with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Donahue returned to TV in 2002 with his MSNBC talk show, Donahue, but it was canceled the following year. Donahue left much more behind than his prestigious career, including his famous wife, his five children from his first wife, Margaret Cooney, whom he divorced in 1975, his grandchildren, and his beloved golden retriever, Charlie. In lieu of flowers, Donahue's family asked that donations be made to Street Jew Children's Research Hospital or the Phil Donahue Notre Dame Scholarship Fund. 